look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Lux Apartments? Who's there? Fucking 
you have to get someone here and stop this thumping. Well, it's not so much a thumping as a throbbing. Kind of like a rawr, rawr. Oh, no. Well, actually, it's more like a rawr, rawr. Uh, Ms. Wong, I, I have another call. If you could just hang on. Daisy. Sounds like you're at the Little Vegas, judging by all that noise in the background. Remember, your first order of business is to find Delgado. Maybe somebody in there has seen him. While you're at it, if you can prove that Brago made a deal with the Dorseys, feel free to take that bastard down. Best of luck, Rangers. Daisy out. We've got drinks, dancing, and games of chance. Pick your poison. Welcome to Little Vegas. What's your favorite song? Gotta be Sex Dwarf. It bops so hard. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Hey, you pallies. Try your hand at a game of luck and skill. Roulette's the name. Drop a bet on the table, I spin the doohickey, and you win big if the ball lands on your choice. Red or black pay even money, but zero pays ten to one if you've got the stones. No luck, pallies. What do you say? Want to give her another spin? No luck, pallies. What do you say? Want to give her another spin? Sorry, friendos. What do you say? Want to give her... Easy money for you, chums. What do you say? Want to give her another spin? No stomach for it, eh? What? No problem. <laughs> I'll be here after you grab another round of drinks. Fuck! Fuck! I'm so screwed! Like... Totally. I went upstairs to get my sh shit out of the safe, but B B Boulder and his mercs took my pants and kicked me out before I could get it. No fucking way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash or I'm dead. Can you help me? I owe a lot of money. I don't sell this shit and they'll kill me. In a safe? 
up, 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 upstairs in the private room. Here's the combination. Just watch out for the boulder. Just watching out for rowdy types. Alcohol's nice, but it's the company that makes this all worth it. Enjoy the parties, but stay out of the rooms behind the bar. Ooh-wee! Always have a time at Little Vegas. Even if I go home with red hot balls, it's just like hellfire. One, six, eight! Hell yeah! What are you rents doing in here? This is a private party. Yeah? Well, you picked the wrong room. Ain't no Delgado here, and no Marshalls neither. Defending Colorado Springs, and beating those toothless shit-kicker Dorseys to a bloody paste. Local 168, let me hear you! Woo! <laughs> None of your fucking business. Ah, oh, they're mercs. Happened to be in town when the Dorseys attacked, so we paid them to help us out. Nice to see him putting the Patriarch's money to good use. Ha! You mean sh 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 shakes You rents are running errands for a junkie? Get out of here! We're gonna sell that shit when we sell his pants. Oh, so you've got some cojones. Well, if it's a fight you want, the local 168 are happy to oblige. Hey, now, hold on. We was looking for a throwdown, not a gun down. We don't get in killing fights, unless somebody's paying. Uh, what was it you wanted again? Maybe we can help you out. Used to be a union. Scrap Miners Local number 168. Organized when we was working the yard in Steel Town. Pay was shit, conditions were brutal, hours were criminal. So we unionized. Smart, right? Not so much. Boss Markham sacked us and hired a bunch of refugees to take our jobs. So we had to find a new way to make coin. Decided we could use our muscles for fighting just as well as mining, and reformed as a mercenary company, Local 168. Best there is, if you can afford union rates. <laughs> yeah, we saw it. That Charlie Nose fella? Dragged him into the back rooms behind the bar. Then do it and get out. Just be quick about it. Good. We got drinking to do. Hell! Yeah! Hey, remember how I blew that Dorsey's brains out? <laughs> Still got some on my shoes. Goo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Sixty-eight, boo! 
yeah. One, six, eight. One, six, eight. Wonder if ten is working. Talk to Kendall if you're looking for some company. Hello, oh, hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Kendall, Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. That's my name, yes. Excuse me a moment. You really shouldn't ask him about that. He had a misunderstanding with Mr. Brigo, and they cut off his junk. Smooth like a Ken doll, get it? Makes him a great pimp, though. Rangers, you're not actually going to recreate in this disgusting place. Of course! Here at the Little Vegas Brothel, we offer a royal flush of ladies and gentlemen of the evening. There's the lovely Ten of Hearts, the handsome Jack of Hearts, the imperious Queen of Hearts, the mighty King of Hearts, the unsurpassed Ace of Hearts, and, for those of you who like it weird and wild, there's the one and only Joker. So... Pick a card. Any card. Our most demanding escort, who pleases those who please her and punishes those who fall short. Before your time is through, you'll be begging her for release. And if you're very, very good, she might just give it to you. Of course, but before we return to other topics, you need to know that if you do decide to indulge, you pay the escorts directly. Not me, okay? Now what else did you want to know? Yeah, okay, bye. Are you looking at my boots? You haven't earned the right. Stand there and don't move, kitten. I'm inspecting you. Hmm. You'll do. It costs money for my attention, pet. Pay, and I'll show you the joys of knowing your place. Now, let's think about safe words. It's safe, I promise. Pathetic. Dismissed. You couldn't work tonight, Darlene. That's uh, fine. I got a sitter. Not your ex, I hope. He'll drink all your liquor and sell the kid to the scar collectors. <laughs> a little Tammy from next door. She'll still drink all my liquor, but Zach will be safe.
any luck? Do you have my five rhino and five focus? What? Well, that one, that wasn't... You never said anything about my money. Fine! Bunch of assholes! This is all I have. Now, get out of my way. But just a little, even me out. That's all. No more gambling for me. You know I learned I'm my lesson. DJ. Where? Hey there. What do you need? This is the little Vegas. A slice of paradise in a freezing shithole. Plenty of sins available for the picking. Just take a look around. All the best vices Colorado has to offer. Hey there, what do you need? Loose lips don't get you far in Mr. Brigo's organization. So, nope. Mr. Nose is floor boss. I just serve the drinks, okay? Don't be strangers. Ah, it's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Nose. Farron Brago's capo, leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Not surprised you haven't heard of it. St. Elmo was lost to a fire years ago, sadly. But it was a thriving town before then. Thanks to old Charlie, yep. Don't listen to a word old Charlie says, Rangers. He's the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. <laughs> says the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all, and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? I'm the floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained, and that they don't wander into the back rooms. <laughs> you like it? He used to be a real lady killer. Then he made the unwise decision to double-cross Mr. Brigo, so the boys took him into the back room. Had him in there for weeks, poor bastard. You could hear his screams clear across town. He came back with a face that wasn't so pretty anymore, and without Master John Goodfellow. Kendall, get it? What a revolting story. Yeah, he didn't like it much either, especially the ending. You see this silver ram medal? You like it? It's my favorite badge. The patriarch himself gave it to me. Yes, sir, for saving his eldest son. Man, you should have seen the size of that snake. Why wouldn't I? Isn't that who you are with your hat so red? Oh, well, can't help you if you're confused. I can? Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case, no. Jokes aside, Mr. Brigo doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. 
And we take Mr. Brago's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him, not me. Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats. But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that, right? Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. Look for our man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal, yeah? Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. Sure. First, head to Pillory Square. You know, where the marshals leave folks to freeze. Max Place is southeast of the human popsicles. Usually has a paperboy shouting nearby. Find a way to prove Mr. Brigo wasn't mixed up in this Dorsey business, and we can make a deal. Yeah? Ah, Mr. Brigo's pride and joy. Our pride and joy. He founded this club after coming here from Vegas. Apparently, it emulates the style of Sin City, but I never saw that place myself. You want to talk to the man in charge? You'll find Mr. Brigo upstairs. Until next time, Red Hats.
look. This time the marshal sent substitutes to shake us down. Well, you stand-ins get one warning. Fuck off or get fucked up. Yeah? Well, McTavish doesn't want to talk to you. And you just used up your one warning. Fuck him up, boys. <laughs>
Those are shot, my boys. Well, I'm not looking for a bullet in the face, so you can fuck right the hell off. Oh, wait, don't. Goons are cheap, my good daughters are replaceable. All right, come in. But I'm no help us in here, I'm warning you. Wait, I can you. You then we numpty Sunlanders who came all the way from Arizona to suck the Patriot's cock. But what happened to the rest of yous? Couldn't you attack the cold? Couldn't you drive on ice? <laughs> Couldn't you <they> swim? <laughs> What? No. I don't know he how I did with that. I just, uh, I just heard a bit of it. Oh, OK. And you've got ten seconds to lick my boss, you flatland hicks. I'm under Farm Brego's protection. You can't touch me, you cunts. No, I, I mean, if you shoot me, then he's gonna, gonna, ah, fuck all of this shit. This ain't fair. Everybody shits on me. Everybody. Okay, okay. Looks like you got me at a disadvantage. So let's make a deal, eh? You push flaps drop me enough to skip tune, and I'll tell you what I can. Damn it, the hell. I'm not going back to the stocks, no way. Fine, I'll spill your monkey desert trash. Okay, yeah, I let the doses in the city, and I'm glad I did. Least I could do after the patriarch put me in the pillories. Asshole throws my bloody face off. I got a career where my nose should be. Of course, I wanted some revenge, wouldn't you? What? No, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Bragg would not have done us nothing. I, I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill Buchanan. Ah, that's that's Scottish. I'm Scottish. See, Scottish plate, Scottish uh, logo, everything Scottish. The McTavishes were the kings of Scotland once you can. Look at that, you're Scottish. I learned it from your video Braveheart, which was right there when they made Scotland. It's going to be right. Because I found the tape in a burnt out car, so it could be a wee bit warped. I know, right? Oh, I, well, I was buying some wholesale medicine for Gadji when all of a sudden the marshal jumped out of nowhere and grabbed me. Say I'm buying me intent to sell or some shit. I try to tell him, I'm not selling it. I'm getting out of war with every purchase of an oil change at my shop, but the bar bags can't see the difference. So they dragged me after the pillories. I mean, I busted for charity, I ask you. Ninety-nine percent sure those guys took my buy and sold it themselves too. Fucking marshals, they should stay on the inside of the law. <laughs> are you kidding me? This is a bear shot in the woods. Of course the marshals are corrupt. They work for the Patriarch, don't they? And he's the most corrupt tally washer than that. You think he's the great feather who takes care of the people of Colorado? Utter shite! He takes care of the people who take care of him. That's it. Now, the rest of us peons are just here to keep the machines running. That's why I ended up working for Brego. Now, he's a crook too, but he doesn't pretend he's no. Not like some people I could name. Oh, 
Ah, the dame! How did you know that? Bloody hell, that's another thing the Patriarch owes me for, my health! What are you going to do with me? Custody, you whores! Didn't I tell you what you want to know? You fucking love are all the same! Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. Copy that, Team November. Arrest team from HQ is en route. apartments on the line and this one might actually be something says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs in shush 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 let me talk to them you're leaving out important details uh it's the weirdo in apartment three he's gonna kill us all there's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room and he's not alone he's got friends in there they're planning something i know it do you think I would have called you if the marshals had listened to me? They say I call too much. Goddamn lazy good for nothings. Maybe there was nothing going on those other times, but this one's real. I'm sure of it. Come to the Sands Lux apartments now. That loony's liable to blow the whole place sky high. Uh, sorry, November. Over and out. Huh? What do you mean by sorry? Heroes, Dorsey's flee the city. Maybe I'll join. What's the rush, huh? Why don't you tell your old pal Charlie what you found out from McTavish? Well done, Red Hats! Thing is, maybe I made it sound like I could get you into the back, but I can't without Mr. Brigo say so. Go talk to him. Tell him what you found out, and I'm sure he'll be open to a deal. Ah. Uh, don't mention me, though. Thanks. So, uh, what'd you do to that poor bastard McTavish? Better there than in the stocks, I guess. 
I'm gonna head to the machine shop and clear up any mess you left, all right? Nothing but a favor between friends. You should go on upstairs and talk to Mr. Brigo. See you later, Red Hats. Oh, 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 I caught you. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you want? Can't you see we're busy yelling at each other? You're the one yelling, and if you don't stop, they're going to kick us out. I'll kick you. Uh oh, it's trouble. Stop it, you two. No one fights in little Vegas. What do I need? See drink what you did? All that you the These stairs lead to Mr. Brago's lounge. He said I should let you guys through. But don't even think about messing with that computer behind me. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken, and there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is. The furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Well, maybe if a fight broke out I would. But nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place, would they? Uh, you're not gonna say I said any of this, are you? Ugh, so gaudy. So ostentatious. Ranger! Ah, oh, Rangers. I get the feeling this isn't a social call. I understand you had a little talk with McTavish. And I want you to know him as appalled as you are that he let the Dorseys into the city. He served me well. But, well, he's always been an idiot. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? Is that a threat? Are you suggesting some kind of deal? I'm not admitting I know anything about Delgado, but what did you have in mind? Mmm, I like that. Keeps Daisy out of my business and takes care of a problem I didn't want in the first place. All right, you got a deal. You can take Delgado. I'll tell my crew to let you in the back. And I tell you what, because you've been so reasonable, I'll do you one more favor. A little bird told me you need to staff the armory at your HQ. Well, I just so happen to know a few guys who know about guns. Consider it staffed. What do you say? You're right, but I'm not the one who grabbed him. Charlie did, the idiot. After that, what was I going to do? Tell him no hard feelings and let him walk? Daisy would have been busting down my doors within the hour. So I just kept him on ice, hoping a solution would come along, and voila, he did. At least I hope it did. Depends on if you're going to accept my offer or not. So... Fantastic. Delgado's in the back. My crew will let you through. Go get him, and you'll have a fully staffed armory by the time you get back to your headquarters. Pleasure doing business with you, Rangers. Feels like old times. There's a statistically significant chance we'll exchange genetic code.
What a surprise to see you here, Rangers. What a surprise. It's especially surprising because I figured you'd be coming out of Brigo's suite with him in chains or a bullet hole in his head. But no, what's a damsel like me to think? We've looked the other way long enough. First, Brigo helps out the Dorseys. Then, he locks up a marshal. Your law keeper's right, like us. It's time to uphold the law. If you're not willing to do that much... Marshal Lupinski, I stand by these people. So if you plan to shoot them, you'll have to shoot me, too. I think you know how that'll go over with the families. Doesn't need to come to that, Miss Wesson. If your friends here make the right choice. So, how about it, Rangers? You wouldn't want to get the little lady hurt, would you? Maybe, or maybe Brigo sweet-talked his way out of trouble. We've all seen that happen before. Last chance, Rangers. It doesn't have to go down like this, fellas. Shut the fuck up, Quan. It's going down like this whether or not you like it. One way or another, there's gonna be blood. So whose side are you on? You really want to piss off the sheriff for the sake of that rat, Brigo? <laughs> you know, I was hoping you'd say that. out with the marshals was nuts. You know the crazy part? All that shooting 
and it didn't break a single bottle. Don't be strangers. Damn, Marshall, shut up my club! My dream! Get Del Gardo out of here, Rangers. This is between Daisy and me. and row with me? Mmm. Smell hey, that? Hands off They've the been making chicken masala. Hey, what's the matter? You want to join the outfit, but you ain't got the lingo? Well, congrats, Jabroni, because you've come to the right table. The Gangster's Guide to Diction got everything you need to know. It don't matter if you're a bag man or a button man. We'll have you talking like a made man in no time. So grab a canola and pull up a chair. And let's get your mom up. Hey, Delgado. Bet you thought Daisy forgot all about you. Quan! I figured anyone coming for me would have to shoot their way in. How'd you get past Brigo's crew? McTavish? <laughs> that son of a bitch. Good. Good for you. You know, I had a feeling it was one of Brigo's people. No. They know better than to hurt a marshal. Though, after all this, I'm starting to think maybe I should have known better. And don't tell my wife I said that. Well, what are you going to pay me to keep quiet? <laughs> Quan, always the kidder. Um, you are kidding, right? <laughs> don't worry, Delgado. Your secrets are safe with me. I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. He's a survivor. Likes to play both sides to make sure he always wins. After the Dorsey raid, I started asking questions about the club. Well, I guess I got too close to the truth. They grabbed me, dragged me in here and locked the door. Took my weapon and everything. Good thing you came along. Right. Thanks again.
Yeah. Did you ask your wife? I bet this is all Joe's fault. to death or burn. You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Now, come on, answer the question. All right, all right. You're gone faster and free cremation so your family saves a few bucks on the funeral. Drowned in chocolate pudding for me. Uh, okay. <sighs> nice to see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people are shopping. Tell me it ain't true, Rangers. You worked out some kind of shady deal with Brigo? Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way Brigo isn't balls deep in this mess, no matter what he says. And what about the part where you killed that fat-ass Lipinski? He knew you'd let Brigo off the hook, didn't he? Probably tried to stop you, so you shot him dead. People? Brago and his slugs count as people now? I thought I was pretty clear about how all this was supposed to go down. Real clear. Easy now, Daisy. The Patriarchs invested a lot in these folks. You don't want to... Shut your hole, Quan. Don't make me ask you where you were when they shot Lipinski. Might have been an idiot, but he was still a marshal. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brigo, and it won't include you. You know where to find the door. <laughs> 